everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. I'm Tanados. Alright, so this time we're gonna go through the, uh. Wow, I forgot what it's called. The Grand Slam, that's right. I apologize. I like this music that comes in right here. We've heard this a few times. We heard it when we were with Guile, at the start of the game. It's a nice theme. Oh, so we have to follow the sage in and out of these doors. That's what we have to do in this episode. Every place he goes, we have to go with him. Come here, you little bastard! I want to go ahead and equip my, uh... Well, I wanted to equip Carnivore. Trap. Because you can trap a bunch of elements from this next fight for, with the sage. But I don't think I have Carnivore. Uh, okay. Is it already equipped? Well, I'm going to put Thunderstorm on. You can trap that from him, for sure. Uh, you can trap... Uh... Inferno, Deluge, Carnivore, Thunderstorm, Holy Light, and Freefall from him. And you had to buy the traps in Marble before you went to Fort Dragonia and we fought Viper and Link's killed Viper and all that stuff went down. So I went ahead and stocked up on a few traps. But yeah, I guess I don't have a Carnivore trap. I really thought I had it, you know? God damn this game! Because I plan on using Glenn later in the game. He's a green, and Carnivore would have been a nice move to have for Glenn, but I'll get it later, that's okay. But yeah, be sure to uh, equip any traps you want to use. And uh, his patterns I'll be going over during this fight. It depends what you use against him that he uses against you. Come here. Come here! God damn it, come here, boy. There we go. Yes, what is it? Why are you following me? He's a janitor, huh? He needs a new broom? Mr. Burns! I want a new broom! Ooh, it's that lucky leprechaun! I'm gonna get your lucky charms! My brains! <laughs> Simpsons reference. Yes. Okay. So he's going over uh, demi-humans and humans, the relationship between us two. I want to kill you, Sage. <laughs> Will you go as far as using brute force? Of course! Alright, here we go. So, let's say I want to use Thunderstorm, or get him to use Thunderstorm. You want to use a yellow innate to get him to use a yellow innate. So if you want to trap Holy Light, use a white innate against him. If you want to trap Freefall, use a black, and so on and so forth. But the easiest way to do this fight is to just physically beat him down, so he uses no magic against me. So let's use my Thunderstorm trap. Trap that, there we go. And let's just go on here. Phase him, Starkey! Phase him! Melt his brains! Well, Starkey's not too bad. Alright. Uh, no, that would no, that would ruin my uh, pattern I want to use. I'll use an electric bolt. I want to get rid of the yellow field, though, ASAP. Oh, wow, that's some good damage. He's got about 1800 HP. You cannot steal anything from him. So here we go, here's pattern starts. I know he's using a green innate, but that's part of the pattern. It's nothing unusual. He will be using Thunderstorm at the end. Get him, Harlequin! Get him! There we go. Uh, what do we have here? You know what? I'll go ahead and use Moonshine. Raise my magic defense a bit. Come on. This fight is not hard, as long as you uh, just physically beat him down, or trap if you want to trap him. Be sure to heal up every so often. There we go. Since he turned me yellow, I no longer do as much damage to him because I'm no longer black. He's a white innate, so I was hurting him pretty badly. So I want to use a heal all to cure up Lynx. I don't want Lynx dying on me. There we go. Get him, Starkey! Melt his brains with your laser! God damn it, son of a bitch! I'll be showing off Holy Light in the next battle, I guarantee it, but for this one, I don't want to ruin his pattern, so I can't use it right now. So, we'll just physically beat him down. How's that sound to you guys? Alright, lowers our defense, no big deal. Um, what am I doing? I can't really use magic, why am I looking around? Okay, attack! Eat this! Man, I cannot wait till I get Surge and all my characters back. I'll have a really great party going on once I do that. Turn Yellow War off, that's why I'm doing so much damage to him, by the way. 
So there's Thunderstorm. All right, I got it. Perfect. It's a powerful magic. I like having it. I'll use Eagle Eye myself. Eagle Eye plus Strengthen on Lynx makes him a badass, but I do not have Strengthen yet. There we go. Melt your brains open. I'm liking Starkey so far. He's cute. He's lovable. He does some pretty good damage. Not bad. Ooh, alright. There we go. He's hurt. Ah, oh, not the broom to the face! God! There we go. Get him, Lynx. There we go. There we go. Dead. Alright. Easy fight. Got what I wanted. Let's see what the star gives me. There we go. 23rd star. Ooh, strength and magic. Strength for Starkey. And strength for Harl. Alright, I'll take that. And a Mithril Helmet for our troubles. Alright. Not bad. Hmm. Since you are quite serious. Carrying the burden of fate. What fate? Opening a new gate also brings forth a new misfortune. Okay, I won't forget. A fucking crab? You just gave me a fucking crab. Really? A fucking crab?! I came all this way, turned into a cat, lost my boat, and I got cra Who the hell are you? I was ranting, I'll have you know. Teach me the song of Marbul. Yeah, we get it. You don't like humans. Okay. Shove off. Alright. A beautiful song. So I think Nikki uh, is a guitar player, I believe. And Mickey is a singer, the one we met earlier on the other ship. My father! Ah, oh, so you are his son. I hope that would... That would one day tear down the wall between demi-humans and humans. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Tear it down. Reagan smash. Reagan smash. Pain and suffering. Your father took my boat away, enslaved Sneff, told Ironist to go fuck herself, and almost ens and is enslaving you too. Fuck your father. I don't feel bad for your father at all. I'm sorry, but I have a swap. But! While well, I humming myself a song. Then you'll... Where did he come from, anyway? The door is right to our left. This guy, Nikki, came from the front. How the hell did he get in here? Come back here and tell me! Alright, so I'm gonna go talk to Sneff. We're pretty much done with this area. We got what we wanted, the Fiddler Crab, to go to the Dead Sea. But let's go see what Sneff is up to. Uh, is he in here? I'm not sure if he's in here or if he's in the gambling room. Yeah, he's in the gambling room. My bad. <laughs> no, that's the inn. Not us, you dumb shit. Here we go. Yep. Go in here. Aha. There you are, you little bastard. Oh, so Sniff's on a roll, I guess, ever since we took away the, uh, the lever. Jackpot's go war, baby, yeah. Where do you walk this whiffing today? Okay. He's doing well, I guess. I'm gonna pay up my debt and get the hell off of this ship. Bye, I go now. So, let's go talk to him again. He can get him to join our party. Remember I said earlier in the game, people with portraits that you can see, Usually join your party. Usually. Not always, but usually. Serge's mom, for instance, does not join the party. But you can usually tell. There you are. Come with me, old man. Why would I lie about something like that? I'm getting off of you. Font- Oh, he's, he found salt and pepper with amnesia. Huh. And they do a comedy act. And he calls them Lincoln Stout now. Their name is Salt and Pepper, not Lincoln Stout. God damn it! <laughs> Go on that diet? Yeah, I know. Ah, tearful goodbye for Sneff. 
and he stares at me. Not until you're able to handle four swords. And not until someone laughs at Lincoln Stout's jokes. I can't leave you guys behind. But Pops! Oh, so he may come with us then. Okay. We are! Yes, sir! Wow, so I guess he has kind of a family here. I guess he kind of likes this place here. Yeah, you can join me. Why not? I hate Sneff, by the way. I think he's useless, but... Yeah. Good God, you're ugly! Look at that piece of shit face he has. Alright, so, yeah. Crap. Eh, whatever. So, thank you guys for watching. I am out.